stampers. My name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today's video is a little different. This one isn't a demonstration on a card or anything, but I wanted to share with you um, something from the current catalog that we've not had before. And that is this wonderful planner kit. And I just ordered uh, mine and, and got it in the post yesterday. And so I thought I would open it on camera and share with you because often what's in the catalog is not done justice to what the reality is on some of these, these items. And this is how it comes packaged. Um, and I've ordered um, a couple of them because I want to share them with some of the people on my team. And so I wanted to just open this on camera and share the insights of this with you so that you would have an opportunity to see what this looks like more real time. So um, included here is a love, it's called Love Today Planner Kit. And it talks about the various parts and pieces. And then here it gives you what your kit includes and points you to a video uh, about how people are using this. And um, it's got quite a bit of information and some, some parts and pieces here for you to see exactly what is in here. And so um, this is the way it, it comes. And I am going to open this up real time so you can see what this looks like. And this one is the one I've ordered for myself. So that I can open this one and share it with you. Um, and it comes with all kinds of pieces and components that work and then there's an opportunity to order a complete set of the fillers again if uh, for for the next year this comes um, complete with a year's worth of material so um, depending on where you are in your year it's mid-year for us here in June and so uh, there's there's more that we'll get a chance to use this through year end this next year and then I would be ordering my refill for for next time so this is um, another part of how it's packaged oh boy here comes some of the fun stuff um, this is just beautiful um, I love how colorful it is and I'm going to use mine I am one of those people that uses a smartphone and my calendar is uh, on there and that's where I make most of my appointments and so I'm a definitely believer in the digital kind of uh, place for some of that. But I really don't have a well-organized place to do my planning, uh, particularly for this part of my world. And so I thought I would order this and give this a try. So let's just work our way through the pieces here. And included are these sweet little post-it notes. One with a little flower in the corner. This one with a little diagonal zigzag. And this one with a little bit of a rose pattern along here. And... Um, some of the colors, I was going to say, I thought it said what the coordinating colors were for this. Ah, here it is. Calypso Coral, Emerald Envy, Gold, Lemon Lime Twist, Night of Navy, Pool Party, and Real Red. So there's quite a bit of color in this. And uh, in the other part of my world, I am a, um, uh, a teacher and a coach. And um, what we know about teaching, and, and I work with adults, and uh, what we know about teaching is that learning is more profound when the both the right side and the left side of the brain are engaged. 
and in uh, this so this has a lot of appeal in that it's very colorful and gives you lots of options for how to uh, store things and how to record things and so it's very appealing for our brains as well <laughs> uh, in how we might use this material. So the first thing I'm coming to here are these two little pockets and I could see where these could be very useful. This is a, a pocket and these are actually punched. I'm going to punch out the little holes here. These are punched and this is a two hole punch and the des the or a two a two hole binder and the way this is designed is it's flat on one side and rounded on the other and I, lots of times that kind of detail escapes escapes people but when you close up your book what's going to happen is this part will be flat against the back and this part will fold over some binders are with a rounded edge on both sides and this binder in the center, what you end up doing is catching pages underneath where you folded um, to make your book kind of messy. And this design is brilliant. It uh, actually um, takes care of that. Um, so these two, back to these two pocket pieces here. So in here, uh, this one is a little pocket piece that would fit, depending, for instance, on a monthly basis. Um, you could put notes in this one um, to yourself, and in this other one could easily hold receipts, um, so on and so forth, particularly if you're trying to keep track of, of this uh, uh, for a business purpose. Uh, and these can be placed any place in the, in the binder. Then there are three or four little pages here of this uh, material that are little pockets. And so you can put, uh, this would be a, a place to put a little picture of some favorite people in your life and have them right there for you to remember about them. Um, or you could put notes or inspirational quotes or anything that would help you with your own motivation about getting things done. And uh, it's very versatile in that particular regard. So uh, you could use these any place in the, uh, in the, uh, in the binder. So uh, let's move on here. Um, the next thing I come to are, is this page. And this looks to me like a, a notes or journal kind of page with some blank spaces, grid paper, I love grid paper, and then some lined paper. And then if I remember right on the other side, yes, this is the calendar. So December might fit here and November here uh, and or you could use the other side of this to make some notes and see that very clearly in your in the way you put your book together. I think this has so many options for ways to put together. So this has um, the month of the year, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, and so I'm assuming that the rest of December is here someplace. It must be. And so that, yes, there they are. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So there is a coordinating piece. Let's see if I can find it. So this one here. Yeah, so it would sit like this and open in your book. And you would have the opportunity to write in, they don't put the year, and all of the blocks are filled in. So you would add the months of the year as they change for you um, by the calendar year. Um, uh, December may start on anywhere from Sunday to Saturday. And so you can write them in and it would be absolutely correct for the year that you're dealing with here. And on the other side of this one, 
is days of the week, and so that there's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and a small one for a Sunday here. And you can, it looks like you can put this book together, boy, just about any way you'd like. And it's got some wonderful component features here. So there are quite a few of these um, months of the year, the, the 12 months of the year. So you can set that up however you'd like. Then you have the option of uh, looking at this, let me, on the individual days uh, with a little bit more room to do some planning or some note keeping to yourself about how you're going to spend those times. And so there have to be quite a few of these if there's 52 weeks in the year. So there's a number of these sheets and you can see they have um, Monday through yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then, like I thought, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And um, many, many of these. So it'll be kind of fun to sit down and figure out how to put this together so that it works the best for me. Um, and looks like you can do quite a bit of customization. I'm very excited to get this because I, I, I have notes to myself, but they're kind of scattered around everywhere. Uh, about getting things planned and I've got them in folders but it'd be nice to have everything in one place um, even for me what videos I've got planned to make or to load onto YouTube and uh, when I do classes what cards I'm planning to do in a class and how much of it is done and what still has to be done for getting that organized. Then I notice on the back of some of these it starts to be a different kind of paper again a journaling kind of paper so there are lots of options for things to do and how to set this up though so there's quite a bit of that journaling paper there available as well and like i said there is a video online that will show you a little bit more about how they envision stampin up uh, envisions people using this then following those pages are these lovely laminated pages with the months of the year in tab form here. And look at the designs, isn't that pretty? So we've got um, lots of different designs. This is very appealing from a color perspective. Um, there's your pool party and Calypso coral and the reds and the navies. Um, it's got lots and lots in there. Some of that lemon lime twist. So it's got it in there. And every one is a little bit different, which is kind of nice. Um, and here we go through December. We have all of these component pieces um, ready to go in your binder. All of them have been pre pre-punched here so you can put them in and put this together whichever way kind of floats your boat <laughs> and so um, this is just going to be lovely and wonderful for reflection time and for planning time and I'm a person that likes organization where things have a place and having a place for things helps me keep organized because I don't have a lot of space uh, that I work in and have my, my crafts organized. I work in kind of a, what, what I think about is kind of a large closet. <laughs> and uh, see what else is in here. We have, looks like one, two, three pages of gold stickers. And there's some rose detail, some words, some little banners, arrows, uh, all kinds of little things, hearts and um, just little embellishments. And there's three pages of these stickers and these also are three hole punched. So they would could be stored in your binder for you to use uh, whenever you'd like to be able to. Then there are one, two, a couple of pages of these. And these are other kinds of stickers with all kinds of little designs on them. There's 
bows and hearts and cars and uh, like food and cutouts and all different kinds of things and banners and little notes places uh, here and it looks like these are stickers and peel off I don't know about these up top yes everything peels off and so can be stuck inside your your planner to emphasize whatever it is you would like um, and they're just as cute as they can be um, and nothing is just kind of glaring loud colors this is soft uh, not pastel by any stretch but not loud colors then there is oh I know what this this is a um, page protector a place for you to mark if you had your notebook closed and this was um, here we are in June and you would place this in your binder maybe for June and then the week that it is so that when you opened your binder you could see right where to go for this week's uh, kind of thing and this is punched but also has a hole to the circle line so this can be put into the binder um, like this and moved anytime you want if you have something you're trying to mark and know where it is and then you also have those um, cute little uh, notepads that you could mark a page and have a little piece extending out so you could see it a little bit better so um, this was so different and so pretty that I really wanted to share with you separately just what this is now the cost for um, this particular um, suite of this calendar planner piece is $37 in the catalog and then the refill which is virtually everything but the binder is $27 and for those of you that have seen things like the Franklin Covey uh, planners or even um, just a paper calendar without all of these beautiful embellishments in fact I was showing this in the catalog to a friend of mine who's very much um, she likes writing she likes putting the pieces in she won't use the smartphone for her planning so she uses a book like this for all of her planning and all of her um, appointments uh, was just kind of drooling over this because um, she pays I think it's 27 to 30 dollars for hers that is about half the size of this and a bit smaller and all it has is page after page of a calendar page and then a few things for the week no pockets no pretty anything um, and uh, uh, she thought this was a particularly good bargain as do I even the little journals that you find the pretty journals that are comparable to this kind of quality often are between 15 and 20 dollars just for a, a book with lined pages to to make a journal this has the ability to both be a calendar a planner a journal um, and uh, a sort of a, a reflection almost a diary if you were to choose to use it that way and so to get something like this on the open commercial market I think would be in excess of 50 uh, maybe maybe more um, $65 something like that so in in the scheme of things for a year-long useful pretty help you keep organized item for $37 I think it's a real bargain um, it's got these wonderful little metal protectors on the edges here and you'd have to see this this is extremely sturdy uh, looking book and the pages so again I wanted to just share with you a little different kind of video this time so that you could see a little bit more real time what this looks like and um, this can be ordered on on my page uh, www.albedinger.stampinup.net if you choose to uh, to get one of these um, I am just planning on having a lot of fun putting this together and seeing how putting it together 
a way that suits me will help me stay organized. Um, so I'm off to uh, go play with this, if you will. <laughs> so uh, thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel. Um, I appreciate it. And until next time, uh, I'll be back with uh, cards and projects. And see you soon. Bye.